everybody and brought us blessings. Lady Leanna, as you know, with another episode of Wicked for Today, and it's great to see you again. I was pondering recently over a quite deep matter to do with religion, and I think it's very interesting, so much so that I think that it would be something to bring up with you guys. Now, it doesn't necessarily apply to everyone, but it does apply to quite a few people, I believe. And this is only my opinion. And that is, okay, first off, many people are out on a search for the correct religion, one that would suit them. And they're quite right in doing so. They just want to find one that is extremely synonymous with them. And they look in many, many different places. The only problem seems to be that as they are reading upon certain religions, they're very hasty in drawing to, con to conclusions on these religions based on maybe one thing or two things that is said. They may be reading a book and within just a few pages they'll see something they completely disagree with or that doesn't make sense to them and then they'll lay it aside and never pick it back up and they'll move on to the next one and it won't be long they'll find something similar something maybe not similar but something that doesn't sit quite right with them and so quite simply they'll set that apart and and they'll keep on doing this and before you know it they'll have ruled out so many different religions whereas if they had read the books all the way through or studied each religion quite thoroughly they would have been more capable of basing an idea as to whether it would be a right one for them or a wrong one you know, you're always going to find a negative within any religion, or maybe negative is the wrong word. You're always going to find something within any religion that you half-ass disagree with, you know. But there are ways that you can set things into yourself in such a way that you could accept them or meld them into being a part of yourself. And I think that's quite important. But so many people will tend to read just a part or a bit of something and then lay it aside and never pick it up again. And therefore they may be robbing themselves of a very deep spiritual experience that could resonate with them in the long run if they had just given it enough time before moving on. And so you have a lot of people running around with a very eclectic, which is all right, a very eclectic but very confused idea as to what religion should be. And um, I could see that in my earlier years being a fact. And that's why I'm able to talk about it now. Whereas later on I began understanding each and all religions that I read on by quite simply reading through the different various books on each religion, studying them more heartily. And, you know, though I may have disagreed with something that one of them would say, I would continue reading the book because I would want to know more about why it is that they feel this way or why it is they went this way about it. 
when they could have just done something more simpler or this, that, and the other. And these are only examples. But the fact of the matter is, is that we tend to pick up books, we read through a page or two, we see something that we don't exactly resonate with, and then we close it, we put it aside, and we pick up another book. And so we have a bunch of broken bits and pieces of religions and we try to create a religion for ourselves based around that. A very eclectic religion, but a very disknowledgeable one at that. In all reality, if you don't read much about it and you don't get much out of it, then it's definitely not going to be a source of knowledge for you and you're eventually going to clutter it in with everything else that you've learned from the other little bits and parts of books that you have read and so it's going to be tossed salad and you're not really going to know how to take things or the way that things should be or how to talk to other practitioners from certain pathways who do understand their religious beliefs even if they have two to three different pathways they may have learned how to enmesh them but in such a way that it worked together and that was through study I guess what I'm trying to express to you here is that first and foremost, study. Study in the deepest means or methods is extremely important, no matter what it is that you're studying. And even if you find something that doesn't resonate right with you, doesn't feel right or seem right to you on one part. If you just read past it, you might understand why they are putting it the way they are putting it and have a deeper meaning to it and can be apt to make it your own. Or perhaps not, but at least you have a deeper understanding of what this person was trying to convey. And then you can move on and you can study this one, but do it more thoroughly. And then another one. You know, no one should, okay, let, let's say you have a bunch of children. No one should push their own religion on their children. That's the way that we pagans actually feel. <coughs> Pardon me. We should never push our religion on to our children. In fact, we should hand them a stack of books from many different paths and walks and say, okay, read these. And once you've read them all, come and talk to me about them. Or read each one. And after you've read each one, come and talk to me about that book and then continue and read the next and then the next. You know, but there's a way, there's a method of doing it, a method of dealing with things to where your child would be able later to make a more independent uh, justification as to why they would follow this particular religion. Or they would find a religion that resonates more with them than the others and they would lean toward that or create a base religion with the others being additives to that. It can go so many different ways and I hope I'm not confusing you guys but it really is a deep matter. The whole idea behind what I'm telling you here is when you begin studying something within religion, follow it through. At least a book. At least a couple of books. If you can manage to do so. If you can hold your focus before moving on to a different set of books that would be from a different pathway. And then, you know, as you go through these different pathways with your understanding, your deeper 
knowledge of each one because you gave them ample time then you would be able to make a better choice as to what is you indeed. Nonetheless, this is Lady Leanna and I really hope that this has been food for thought for you and that you've gotten out of it what I have. I really do believe in what I'm saying here. You know, all religions have a certain validity to them. And to some degree, they have stemmed from each other, at least in small parts. Regardless of anything, you should be able to meet at one with anyone, with all people, regardless of their religion, and hold a viable conversation with them and without becoming aggravated or without aggravating them. It's very, very deep, but it's very true. This has been Lady Leanna, and I really do love you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you really think deeply about what I've said whenever I'm done. Take care of yourself and bright blessings.